I should explain. Over the years, we had spotted two strangers who looked exactly like members of our group. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Lesbian Robin. <laughs> and Mustache Marshall. <laughs> By the following summer, we would find the remaining two doppelgangers. But I'll get to that. Ladies, meet Stripper Lily. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't get her face in it, but she looks just like it. Gentlemen, say hello to J -J -J Jasmine. Oh. <laughs> Barney, is it just me, or does that stripper look exactly like Can't we find a stripper who looks exactly like Lily? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for J -J -J Jasmine. I am hot! Oh, Crawford, stripper me! This is awesome, baby. Can I give another hundred? That was a hundred? Oh, she crawls fast. Hey, love. Looks like uh, Jasmine's having a hard time getting out of those boots. What did you say, buddy? <laughs> Lily? Who? Oh, yes. I am this Lily. We married long time. May I have monies for shopping? <laughs> One more doppelganger surfaced. Mexican wrestler Ted. Dr. Stangle. It, it can't hurt. So Aunt Lily went to see Dr. John Stangle, the man who knew more about human reproduction than anyone in New York City. So, I understand you want to get pregnant. I still kind of think it's Barney. There's no way it's Barney. Hello, you must be Mr. Erickson. I'm Dr. Stangle. It's Barney. Wow. Really, dude? Bravo. You almost got a peek. But seriously. What second-rate community theater did you get? Would you? I... <laughs> so my wife and I are trying to get pregnant. <laughs> All right. Uh, Miss Aldrin, please just put your feet up in the stirrups. We can begin. Uh-uh. No. Can't do it. No, but baby, I, I yanked on his beard. It's, he checks out. I really don't have time for this. No, Barney, doctor, wait, please. It's, can you just give us a couple minutes? I... Lily, how can I convince you that this is not Barney? Wow! It is like looking into a poorly dressed mirror. Okay, you have to go. Leave the model of the vagina. Okay, convince. Great. All right, you're a little low on the table. Please scoot up. Suit up, not convinced. This whole thing stinks to high heaven. Baby, you just saw Barney. He could have pulled some crazy switch. Remember when his Swedish cousin came to visit? Oh, yeah, Bjorni. Yeah, I'm sorry, but unless I see Barney at the same time, I, I'll never be sure that Dr. Stengel isn't him. How you doing, Lily? Should I have a boner? Okay, we're all done. I'll call you in a few days with the results. Hey, you don't mind if I take pictures, do you? Uh, can we leave him in here for a while? I'm done for the day. You can leave him in here all night. Oh, yeah. Smile for the birdie, Lou! <laughs> Guy, no oh my! After his parents had gone back to Minnesota, Marshall got the results of his test. I'm afraid I have some very bad news, Marshall. Judging from the results of your test, it is, it is very unlikely that you'll be able to father a child. Oh, God. I know, I know. It's just... Now, in some rare cases, a regimen change can fix the problem. Yeah. So I'm recommending a spirited cardio routine, preferably with a partner, 
involving any light-based firearm activity in the tri-state area. <laughs> Poughkeepsie, for example. <laughs> Have you heard of the gentleman's sport known as laser tag? <laughs> Surprise! Damn it, Barney! What are you doing in here? Think about it, Marshall. All entrants get 20% off at the snack bar. Oh, BT Dub, the receptionist. What's her situation? Oh. Well, Marshall, I've got your results. And? Your sperm is fine. <laughs>